2019 Ram 1500 Car Review The image of enhanced off-road capability, both real and imagined, is certainly a part on the full-size pickup formula. That attribute continues together with the new for 2019 Ram 1500, the redesigned lineup that includes an update for the dirt sling and rebel trim level that's introduced for 2015. While we Valwachi driven an excellent chunk on the revised Ram 1500 model range, some additional rebel seat period in the Arizona desert reinforced so it, too, greatly advantages of the standard half donner's wholesale makeover. The good points of 2019 Ram 1500 Beefy looks, greater refinement, real off-road shops, more configurations than before. The bad points of 2019 Ram 1500 Off-road tires struggle for grip in the pub, some luxury options inaccessible, still not only a Raptor. Serving since the little brother to Ram's heavy-duty power wagon off-roader, the Rebel slots, price-wise, relating to the new 1500's upscale Laramie and cowboy chick long horn trim levels. It's an easy task to spot, that has a vented, power-domed hood and blackened fender flares and exterior trim joining an updated tackle the Rebel's characteristic interlocking ram grille. It also have their own specific 18-inch aluminum wheels, up in the previous 17s, and it is the only 1500 variant to ride on knobby, 33-inch diameter outerine tires, now slightly larger at LT27570R18 versus LT28570R17. Ram says the newest trucks exchange signal of Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack rubber from your previous Toyo at Open Cow entries was largely due towards the desire for quieter on rod running. And indeed, the modern twatches are surprisingly hushed for the tarmac given their aggressive profile, producing simply a faint thrum that individuals only really noticed at slower speeds. Brute 2 the big tires plus a set of upgraded Bilstein monotube dampers with external reservoirs for people at the rear axle are what set the Rebel apart mechanically. The rest of its Tutra gear, including an on-inch suspension lift over stock, hill descent control, an electronically controlled locking rear differential, and skid plates for your front suspension, steering gear, transfer case, and fuel tank can be had with all the new off-road package situated on all other four-wheel drive Ram 1500 models for $795 plus $495 for that locking diff. Non-rebel trucks so equipped also acquire a few off-road graphics, slightly revised versions in the 1500 standard internal bypass dampers, and 18 or 20-inch wheels with outerine tires, depending within the trim level. Ram sought to reinforce the second-gen Rebel's appeal by it in the greater volume of configurations than before. Whereas the last truck was crew cab only and rode about the 1500's optional air spring suspension, the revolutionary rig can also be had being a less capacious quad cab four-door with steel coil springs. Rear and four-wheel drive setups carry on being offered, even though all-wheel drive setup permitted by a Borg Warner on-demand transfer case, is omitted through the Rebel build sheet. Ram says most Rebel buyers are simply just fine with all the conventional 2WD, 4WD high, and 4WD low modes. The Rebel trucks we sampled were all outfitted with four-wheel drive, air springs, plus the optional 5.7-liter Hemi V8 producing 395 horsepower and 410 lb-ft of torque. Available later this coming year also will likely be Fiat Chrysler Z Torque 48V hybrid system, which comes standard around the base, 305 horsepower 3.6-liter Pentastar V6 and is particularly optional about the Hemi. A smooth shifting 8-speed automatic controlled using a rotary dial for the dash is the sole available transmission. Move em out. 
It's downward forget to remember when driving the Rebel off-road hose is simply a fortified version of an standard light duty pickup and not really a fully integrated performance rig from the vein of Ford's F-150 Raptor. The Toyota Tundra TRD Pro plays inside the Rebel's space, and General Motors has decided to join the mix which has a trail boss variant from the all new 2019 Chevrolet Silverado. Tackle small jumps and undulating washboard-like terrain with an excessive amount of aggression plus the ram suspension will rapidly kiss its bump stops. Yet driven within its boundaries, the Rebel displays impressive composure when blitzing sandy washes and rocky, scrubland trails as the big Goodyears dig into corners to keep momentum. This massive pickup plays pretty hard when in the spurs. The combination with the upgraded dampers as well as the air springs, good for 10.8 inches of ground clearance within the loftiest off-road 2 setting versus 9.8 inches with all the standard coils, earn high marks for comfort and treating rocks possibly at speeds that will be borderline abusive in the normal truck. Electrically assisted steering that could feel a little light all the time allows for quicker corrections within the dirt and sand. The Hemi V8 makes a deep-throated growl looking at the dual exhaust outlets and ample shove whenever you would the accelerator. We wish Ram acquired a dedicated performance-oriented setting that sharpened the transmission's attitude for off-road driving, however the 8-speed remains smartly programmed in their standard tune and downshifts immediately in response to throttle inputs. The 3.92 to 1 axle ratios help drive the tires with all the transfer cases 2.64 to 1 lower range gearing further upping the Rebel's tank-like abilities to claw through loose ground or more steep slopes. Although the Rebel's maximum departure angle 23.8 degrees gives up slightly to a comparable standard ROM 1500 due to its prominent tailpipes, its maximum angles of approach 26.7 degrees and break over 21.8 are notably greater. As you'd expect, the Rebels' gnarly off-road tires somewhat taint the 2019 Ram's excellent on-road refinement and ride quality making use of their greater noise levels and reduced grip. Steering actions are slightly dulled, as well as a stab with a nicely firm brake pedal easily elicits a howl through the good years when they scramble for your purchases. Yet compared together with the regular Ram 1500s we drove around the well-maintained roads away from Phoenix, both with and without worrying about off-road package, there's little compromise until you plan to autocross your Rebel. Similarly, we expect that opting for the normal, non-adjustable coil spring setup, which doesn't remove quite as many road irregularities because air springs, would still return greater ride comfort than most full-size trucks. The 2019 Rams weight savings regimen should shave about 200 pounds on the previous Rebels curb weight. The final example we tested, a 2016 four-wheel drive crew cab V8 model, weighed a hefty 5,923 pounds and required 7.0 seconds to attain 60 miles per hour. The new 4x4 truck CPA fuel economy using the non-hib ride V8 estimated at 15 miles per gallon city and 21 miles per gallon highway, is roughly similar to before. Seeing red Along with all the diminished street performance in the off-road rubber, the Rebels' other main trade-offs lie to use interior. While the newest Ram's cabin is supremely refined and dotted with thoughtful storage solutions and high-tech gadgets, many on the Rebels' standard accents like the door panels plus the bright work for the dashboard and center console, are rendered within a bold scarlet hue. Likewise, the seats come only within a redan black cloth hand vinyl to tone scheme using the twatch pattern on the Goodyear Duratrack tires printed about the seat backs and bottoms. You either want it or you don't. Off-roaders in hot climates will wish for that ventilated front and outboard rear seats available in other Ram 1500 models, 
and techs of V consumers will likely be dismayed to know that the brand new truck's headlining 12.0 inch U Connect touchscreen infotainment system can't be had inside the Rebel Astilk Slant 8.4 inch job would be the largest available. Ram says it may offer certain luxury and equipment upgrades within the Rebel later on if demand warrants it. Much of the potential demand will concentrate on how much buyers are going to spend on top in the Rebel's starting prices, a note and significant $45,640 for any rear-drive crew cab with all the V6 and also a 5-foot 7-inch cargo box, $46,340 for any 4-wheel drive quad cab which has a 6-foot ink bed, and $49,140 to get a crew cab 4x4 together with a shorter box. The optional Hemi V8 costs $1,195 add $800 more to the hybrid, as well as the four-corner air suspension is an additional $1,795, plus a minimum of $2,000 for example of two major luxury groups that are included with the larger Uconnect display in place on the stock 5.0-inch unit. Go big and you will easily crack $60,000. Buyers who are nevertheless wondering if Ram can provide an even more expensive, dedicated off-road performance truck, such because the 575 horsepower Rebel TRX concept from 2016, will must keep waiting, since the company says it offers yet to produce that call but is seriously thinking about the idea. If and hopefully gets hotter does, the most recent Rebel will make to get a fine place to start. 